Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. So today's video, we're going to talk about starvation in America and will we see it? Now, the will we see it part's a little harder because there's a lot of solutions, guys, that I'm starting to find out, again, upon further research, that we can absolutely do that'll mitigate uh, the food crisis getting exponentially bad. But if we stay on course with everything we are seeing and everything we are experiencing, if we stay on course to that, we can absolutely see a very uh, bad food shortage, if you will. Now, one of the things, or the many problems we're seeing with this food shortage, guys, is one of them is the lack of labor nationwide. We are seeing people who just don't want to work. I don't understand that. I'm not... Uh, I don't understand it. I don't understand why people all of a sudden don't want to go to work. I don't understand why there's a labor shortage. There's enough people in this country who are out of work, who want to work, and yet there's still a labor shortage, but that's, uh, that's another argument. But how does that lend to starvation and or the food crisis? Well, <clears throat> if you have no one to pack your food, to process your food, to deliver your food, to put your food on the shelves, that is in itself a problem because how's that food going to get to where it needs to get to if you don't have any of the labor to make it happen. Grocery stores are experiencing a labor shortage. Farms are experiencing a labor shortage. Uh, meat packing plants are experiencing a labor shortage. Everybody, guys, is, is experiencing a labor shortage to some degree, which again, I find very weird. We have an egg shortage coming up soon because of the bird flu. We also have an egg shortage because of the lack of labor. We have a meat shortage coming up soon because of the lack of labor and the fact that they recalled beef and it looks like they'll be recalling beef for the foreseeable future. We are also going to see uh, fruits and vegetable shortages as well, guys, because again, no labor and the fact that the farming industry took a hit with bad weather, uh, bad crop season, bad soil, uh, a lot of factors, guys, also factor into this food shortage, right? So it's not just the war in the Ukraine and all this other crazy shit that they talk about. It's the simple fact that we are having a multitude of other problems, right? So it's not one, it's many, and it's actually the perfect storm combination that's lending to this food shortage that we are seeing worldwide. But here in the United States, we're absolutely going to see some crazy shit. Now, again, there is a solution to the food shortage. I'm going to do a separate video on that. But if we keep like I said before, on track, we're going to experience a very bad uh, time in American history when it comes to food. Pet food is another problem that we're starting to see. Again, the lack of labor and people processing the pet food. The pet food industry are not getting the chicken and the meats they need because it looks like that the meat industry is going to prioritize who gets what, even though a lot of the meat industry, of the meat industry gives their shit meat, if you will, to a lot of the uh, pet food places. Now, some pet food companies use legitimate, good uh, grade pet food, but other places don't. So maybe the other pet companies will fare well because they take chicken feed and wings and tips and bones and shit like that, and they grind them up and they put it into the food. But other places, other reputable pet food companies, they're going to be experiencing a shortage because they're not going to have the materials or the ingredients they need to put into their food. Again, with fruits and vegetables also now being under attack because of a bacteria as well as the labor shortage, they're also not going to be, they're also going to be prioritizing who gets what. So again, pet food, some pet food places use actual fruits and vegetables. They're not going to be getting that as well. So I'm going to assume that a lot of these pet food companies, these organic ones, if you will, are going to be shutting their doors fairly soon. We also have the plastic shortage, guys. We also have packaging material shortage. Those two combination, guys, are bad because what happens to a lot of the fruits and vegetables that need to be packaged? Well, they're waiting to be packaged and they can only be refrigerated for a uh, duration, not like frozen fruits and vegetables, which can stay in there for a while until they get packaging. Fresh fruits, on the other hand, only have a limited lifespan before they have to be tossed. And I mean legally tossed, meaning they, they look perfectly fine, they don't smell bad, but because they were out, let's say, five to six days, they got to go. So with that, guys, we also are throwing a lot of food away because of a lot of regulations that we have here in the United States. So again, that lends to the amount of waste that the United States, uh, the waste problem, sorry, that the United States has with food. We throw a ton of shit away when it doesn't need to be tossed. Again, that's a separate video for another time.
But anyway, guys, other than that, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.